Thank you, thank you, thank you. Art here, and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. Today, we're reporting from Nashville, home of country music. At the time of this report, COVID is once again dominating the news, and many of our viewers may be experiencing a case of COVID fatigue. We're going to take a look back at 2021 and hopefully brighten your outlook, because while COVID may be dominating the headlines, real progress continues to be made in the stem cell and regenerative medicine space. First, we want to report on dental pulp stem cells, DPSCs for short. It's been a breakthrough year for the application of DPSCs in clinical trials. As we have reported here at Stem Cell Talks, DPSCs are being utilized in clinical trials for a broad range of afflictions. More specifically, both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, cleft palate repair, osteoarthritis, stroke, and periodontal disease. Researchers are taking advantage of DPSC's unique properties, their ease of recovery, their considerable plasticity, that is the ability to differentiate into a multitude of tissue types, their high proliferative rates, i.e. the ability to regenerate, and their anti-inflammatory properties, all to advance personalized treatments for a wide range of disease, trauma, and injury. We will keep you abreast of the progress of these clinical trials, but we fully expect to be reporting on additional clinical trials to address other illnesses. While 2021 was a great year to be a dental pulp stem cell, the next couple of years should be even more exciting as a growing number of researchers explore the use of DPSCs to treat an expanding range of afflictions. Next, we want to talk about CRISPR, the gene editing technology. For the last couple of years, we've been informing our followers on the impact CRISPR and stem cells will have on treating previously incurable diseases. Our prophecy is becoming more apparent as we reported on this combination being used to cure sickle cell anemia, beta thalassemia, immune deficiency disorders such as ADA, SCID, and LAD1, and Fabry disease. More clinical trials are planned, so you can rely on us to keep you informed. This is the future of gene therapy, utilizing the patient's own stem cells and CRISPR to cure genetic disorders. This is pretty heady stuff. If advances such as these don't cause you to, have to be optimistic, you need to have your pulse checked. Next, we want to talk about dinner, more specifically, your future dinner. Interest in lab-grown protein is skyrocketing. More companies are joining the fray and investment in the field is growing, pun intended. This past year, we reported on advances in cultivating beef, chicken, foie gras, ragu, and while not a protein, coffee. We believe lab-grown protein will prove to be a win-win for everyone. It will be better for the environment, better for the animals, and better align global food distribution consumption needs and patterns. And as we have reported, these advances in the food chain have implications for medical treatments, as the methodologies for utilizing stem cells to produce food proteins can be utilized to grow other types of tissue for therapeutic medical purposes. And lastly, we want to talk about the biotechnology revolution. A few years back, we reported on the pending biotech revolution as the next wave in human development. Some of you may recall how we suggested that the industrial revolution changed the way we work, the information revolution changed the way we think and work, and that the biotechnology revolution would change the way we live, think, and work. Well, we're witnessing this revolution in real time in the world's COVID response, developing vaccines in record time, Expect medical advances to accelerate as researchers take advantage of stem cell-derived organoids to test treatments and drugs, AI to sort through information more quickly, and genetics to personalize treatments and optimize outcomes. The biotechnology revolution is here, and it promises to usher in a period of longer, healthier lives. That's it for now. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.